Hey guys, I'm out with Gunther. I know it's dark, but it's actually only like 5.15. <laughs> uh, we do do walks after dark. We just don't film them often. We're just walking in heel and he's practicing with a new handler. This is huge. Every dog that goes through our program practices with at least two people. So we're using our flashlight feature and I'm just asking him to walk at my left side, at my pace and follow my leg with no tension in the leash. If he starts to lag, I'm gonna tap my tone button and actually speed up and ask him to close the gap. Good. See how he closes the gap there and then I'll slow back down. He'll match my speed again. Sit. Good. One thing that I like to do when I'm practicing heel with a dog is to take a, cup, a couple steps forward and then I'll say the word heel and I actually want them to find the position instead of standing right here and saying it. By taking a couple steps forward, it has them move forward and then they lock into position. It teaches them to actually find the position instead of always just being put there. Let's see if he can do it. Heel. A lot of dogs struggle with blowing past your leg when you do that. It takes a couple reps for them to realize, oh, I need to stop at her leg. Okay, and then you get just a nice walk. And I challenge you to walk slower than normal, especially when you're first teaching the command, because these guys wanna go fast. So we're walking really slow. It's mental work, it's mental energy. Sit, good boy. Getting some downstay reps in. Good boy, Gunther. The reason that this works so well um, when you transfer it in between handlers is because the remote collar language stays the same. So as long as the operator understands how to use it and how to apply the system, the dog will understand and comply. Good boy, bud. Heel. Love that shadow.